Rose. I know that name from somewhere. <gasps> oh! Oh, is this is this Skylar and Stacy's baby? <sighs> Are you serious? Why would I be babysitting that kid? Explain to me why a baby named Angel has a blanket that says Sierra Rose. Cause Angel is her nickname. I mean, Sierra Rose is her real name, but it's not the same Sierra Rose that she was thinking of. Cut the crap. We both know that it, it's near impossible that there would be another child with that same name. Okay, well, uh, you know, Skylar had a problem, and I'm helping him babysit. Skylar knows how much you hate him. There is absolutely no Hey, way Natalie, would you just get the hell out of here? It's a long story, but it's nothing to worry about, and I will explain, but later. I promise. All right. You don't want to talk to me? That's fine. Maybe you could just talk to Uncle Bo. Put the phone away. So, Maraska Fiasco, that's genius, right? But do you have any suggestions on the art? Because I'm just not sure about that. Yeah. This is disgusting. You didn't seem to think so when Doreen was here. Well, that's because it wasn't her business. This is our business. And starting now, our business is going to change. For the better. I'm doing what you want, girlfriend. Me and my new hubby are gonna get your baby everything her little heart desires. And I don't even have to mention Skylar's name. Nobody has to know he's not the daddy. That would just open up a whole nother can of worms with our friend Fish. Now Clint's gonna be Sierra's new daddy. And, and Fish will be out of the picture just like you wanted. I really miss you, Stace. If I live to be a million, I'll never have another friend like you. And where is James? I'm the mayor of this town. I should not be wandering around uh, on my own. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Bye. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. Uh, Kimberly. Kimberly. Yeah, I just want to say that I am very sorry about your friend. Thanks, that's nice. You can call me Mayor Lord. Okay. As mayor, it's part of my job to feel your pain. I didn't know that. I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Just sit still. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> but it's just, uh, I really did think that I'd gotten rid of all the illegal vendors in Angel Square. Though I've got to say, that is one heck of a knockoff. What are you calling a knockoff? This is the real thing. <laughs> oh, really? Do you have any idea how much the real thing would cost you? Clint Buchanan doesn't care what things cost. He just cares that his wife is happy. And honey, let me tell you, I'm as happy as happy gets. Excuse me? Did you say that you are married to Clint? I've been trying to reach you, Clint. Now there's something that you need to know. Hey, you talking to your brother? No, I was just leaving him a message. Yeah, well, I got a message, too. Tell him to back the hell off. Excuse me? He and his wife are trying to get custody of Stacy's baby. And you need to stop them, Bo. Oh, damn it. I want my daughter back. Before tomorrow, because that's when the judge expects us back in court. Well, this has to be over by then. I mean, it's gotta be. I hope and pray it is. But in the meantime, how do you plan on keeping it from the rest of the world that your daughter's missing? Huh? Hopefully it won't be long before we track Allison down. In the meantime, I gotta make sure Jessica's safe. Right. So can I count on you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks, man. I gotta get back to work. I'll call you soon about that date. Yeah. Bye. So what was that all about? You stealing cars again? There's been some vandalism outside the high school. Brody just wanted me to keep an eye out. Listen, about the stage crew, 
if you're still interested, I could use the help. Definitely. Just get me a paintbrush and I'm all yours. Okay. <laughs> it's ready to measure. Oh, okay. Cut Look at the picture, Sal. Is that the one we signed in the afternoon of February 26th? The face is familiar, but something's off. Susan, can you superimpose the two photos? That's her. That's the woman I signed in. And Perkins was, we said, figure out where she went from there. Turn very carefully. You know, you should have gotten out of here when you had the chance. I tried to tell you. Who are you? Don't you recognize me, Natalie? Allison Perkins. <laughs> Great to see you again for the last time.